Hello everyone and welcome to my forum today. I'll be talking about the topic of people pleasing and how to stop being a people pleaser. A people pleaser is a person who tends to put the needs and wants of other people above their own. So if you are a person who tends to think that fulfilling what other people want and need is more important than fulfilling your own needs and wants, then maybe you might be a people pleaser. What are the signs of people pleasing? The first sign is difficulty saying no. Maybe someone wants you to do something, but maybe you don't have the time, you don't have the resources to do what they want. Instead of saying no, you go ahead and do it. That's a sign that you are trying to please that person. The second sign is a lack of boundaries. And this goes hand in hand with the difficulty in saying no. There are many types of boundaries. It can be physical boundaries, emotional boundaries, financial boundaries, many types of boundaries. If you have a difficulty in asserting your needs, in putting in boundaries, in telling people this is what you can do, this is what you cannot do, this is the line that you cannot cross, then probably you uh, struggle with people pleasing. The other thing is that you take responsibility for other people's mistakes and you tend to over apologize. It's the responsibility of other people to take um, responsibility for what they have done, for their words, for their actions. If you find that you are taking on the responsibility that should be taken on by the other person, then probably you are trying to please that other person. And if you tend to over apologize, you made a mistake, you apologize, but then you go on and continue to apologize. It's a sign that you are trying to win the approval of the other person. The other sign is being too agreeable. If there's a decision that maybe one needs to be made and you have your opinions, instead of um, raising up your opinions so that the, your opinions can be considered when making that decision, you tend to go with the flow. Maybe you tend to think other people's opinions are better than you and you become too agreeable. The other sign is perfectionism. If you want things to be done just right, you struggle with perfectionism. It might be a sign that you are a people pleaser. The other sign is that you take on too much responsibility. You are not able to um, give out people's, um, other people to assist you. You are not able to delegate. You take on too much for yourself. You want to do things just right. Like I said, in perfectionism, you take on too much, too many responsibilities. It might be a sign that you want to be approved or you are trying to please other people. The other sign is that you are overly concerned about other people's opinions of you. Maybe you are too concerned about what people think about what you are doing. And before you do something, you wonder, you know, what will people think about what I am doing? Or before you say something, you start wondering, what will people say about what I am going to do? So you are too concerned about how people view you and their opinions about you. The other sign is that you don't express your honest feelings. Maybe someone offended you by doing something or there's something that they said that offended you. Instead of being honest with them, you keep it inside, you don't speak out in an effort to avoid conflict that's a sign that you might be a people pleaser so you have discussed about the signs of people pleasing next we go to the causes of people pleasing the first cause is trauma 
especially early childhood trauma. When faced with trauma, people react in different ways. Some fight, some flee, some are freeze, but there's also the phone response. And this is like an extreme form of people pleasing. And it's a survival mechanism that people use to survive the trauma they have gone through. The other cause is low self-esteem and a lack of self-awareness. If you don't consider yourself to be worthy, if you esteem other people above you, if you think that your opinions don't matter, it can lead to people pleasing because you don't think that you are worthy and so you try to gain the approval of other people by doing uh, what they want or by behaving in a way that you think will get you the approval that you want. So in an effort to raise your self-esteem, you use people pleasing. You do what people want. You do what people have said that you need to do in an effort to raise your self-esteem. The other cause of people pleasing is a fear of rejection and a desire to fit in. If you struggle with rejection, the, the spirit of rejection, it can lead to you becoming a people pleaser. And being a people pleaser helps you to try and fit in. So you do what other people want, you do what you think, you, you say what you think other people want you to say in an effort to fit in and to try to avoid being rejected. The other cause is perfectionism. So perfectionism can be both a sign and a cause of people pleaser because when you are a perfectionist, you want to do things perfectly. And for you to know that you have done things just right, you need that approval uh, from people. So it's a cause and an effect, can be a cause and an effect of you know people pleasing, that you want to do things just right in order to be validated by people. The other cause is uh, conflict avoidance. You don't want to engage in conflict and you lack um, the healthy communication skills. If someone has offended you, like I'd said, instead of addressing it in a healthy way, you tend to do what they want just to avoid that conflict. Conflict. So conflict avoidance can be a cause of people pleasing. So we have talked about the causes of people pleasing. So next we go to the consequences of people pleasing. The first one is burnout. Be because um, a people pleaser takes on too much responsibility. You don't delegate, you do too much for people, then you might find yourself burning out. The other consequence is it puts you at risk of being abused. This is because people know that you do whatever they want. And so they think, you know, they can take advantage of you because they see that you are too concerned about their approval, you want to please them, and this puts you at risk of being abused and misused. The other consequence is resentment and bitterness. Because you are doing too much for people, but they are not appreciating it, that can build up resentment in your heart. Because you will wonder, you know, you'll do, you are doing too much for people, but they're not appreciating it. And with time, that root of bitterness might start taking root in your heart. The other thing is it drives your self-esteem even lower. I say that low self-esteem can be a cause of people pleasing. But when you become a people pleaser, you'll find that your self-esteem will go even lower, especially when people start taking advantage of you, when people don't appreciate you, that will drive your self-esteem even lower. The other thing is that uh, you'll have difficulty establishing 
healthy and authentic relationships because healthy relationships require authenticity they require you to show up as your real self but when you are a people pleaser you'll show up as a perfectionism or in another way that is not conducive for a healthy relationship the other consequence is that people will overlook and disrespect you like i said you you are at risk of being misused and abused because you're overly agreeable then people think they can disrespect you they don't respect your opinions they overlook you because they think that maybe they are better than you because that's the image that you have put across you have put across an image that raises other people above yourself the other consequence it is that you become inauthentic and you lack identity when you are a people pleaser your identity becomes pleasing other people doing what other people want and in that process you lose your true self so those are the consequences of people pleasing the next thing i'll be talking about is how to recover from people pleasing the first thing is that you need to learn to say no and develop healthy boundaries you need to know that it's okay to say no. It's okay to establish boundaries with people. You cannot do something, just say you cannot do it. You don't have the time to do what someone requests you to do. It's okay to say no. The other thing is that you need to have a goal. You have to need to have goals for your life and a vision for your life. When you have goals, for yourself that you need to achieve for your life then you'll not be too concerned about doing what other people want or saying or you know saying things just to please other people because you'll be too busy accomplishing your own goals the other thing uh, about how to recover from people pleasing is you need to know your world and know who you are you have to understand that you are a person of worth and learn to get your identity from Jesus Christ because that's the only way that you can develop a firm foundation in your life and that's the only way to find your identity. Know who you are and know that you are a person of worth. The other way is that you can get professional help this will help you to heal from any trauma that might have contributed to your people pleasing tendencies, especially childhood trauma. Tense is one of the types of traumas that uh, leads to people becoming people pleasers. And then you need to engage in self-care activities and invest yourself. Take time for yourself. Take care of yourself. Understand that it is okay have time for yourself it's okay to take care of your needs it's okay to fulfill your wants have time for self-care that's very important finally put god first put god first in your life get your identity from him pray so that you understand what is driving the people pleasing tendencies pray seek god and God get to know who you are in him. Thank you for, so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. May God bless you.